Gold Rush fans are accustomed to witnessing Tony Beats at the helm of his gold mine, often accompanied by his son, Kevin Beats. Yet, in Gold Rush Season 14, the absence of Kevin is palpable, leaving his father noticeably affected. In Episode 1, Kevin's siblings fill his shoes in his absence, sparking confusion among many viewers about his whereabouts. However, there's a twist in the tale as Kevin is poised to make a comeback in Season 14 of Gold Rush. Spoiler alert, Kevin Beats returns this season to lend a hand to the family. Kevin Beats, Tony Beats' eldest son and a prominent figure in the Klondike mining scene, departed from Gold Rush, opting to take a year-long hiatus from all mining operations. This decision was not only driven by his dedication to mining but also by his desire to spend quality time with his girlfriend, Faith Tang, with whom he has been in a relationship since 2019. Although Discovery has not officially disclosed the reason for his departure, Kevin conveyed to his father, via a video call, the intention to step back from mining after nine years on Gold Rush. In Season 14, Episode 1, Kevin shared with his family that he and Faith Tang were contemplating a year off from mining to focus on activities like gardening and fixing up their house. This revelation was met with skepticism from Tony, who dismissed it as a shit excuse. The news did not particularly impress many and Tony, who expressed concerns about finding a replacement for Kevin during his absence. Tony acknowledged the necessity of finding someone to fill Kevin's role, and many resignedly stated, things change, we have no choice sometimes. Despite their reservations, they agreed that Kevin's decision was pretty clear and that they would have to make it work. Subsequent episodes of Gold Rush revealed Tony's determination to keep mind management within the family. To achieve this, he enlisted the assistance of his daughter, Monica, to take charge of the plant in Kevin's absence. Yet, the winds of change are blowing, and Kevin is on the verge of making a comeback. Although we recently witnessed episode 11, episode 14 reveals a pivotal development, Tony's son, Kevin, is set to return to the scene, lending a hand to salvage the family business in what can be aptly described as a desperate cry for help. Episode 14, appropriately titled Desperate Cry for Help, provides a glimpse into the upcoming events, stating, Tony's son Kevin returns to help save the family business. Meanwhile, Parker races against time to repair burst damage and keep the significant Dominion Creek gold operations running smoothly. As wildfires loom, threatening to halt Rick's progress before he can bring in his first bench-cut gold. At the age of 35, Kevin Beats embarked on his mining journey alongside his father, Tony Beats, at the tender age of 13. Remarkably, by the age of 19, he was already leading his own team. Since joining Gold Rush in Season 6 alongside his father, Kevin has been a vital and unwavering part of the show. His dedication to the mining profession has been both consistent and arduous. Kevin's departure is rooted in his longing for a simpler life, prompting him to step away from mining temporarily. This decision, specifically announcing a year-long break, reflects his desire for a respite from the demands of the mining profession. Taking such a break might offer him the opportunity to gain perspective on life and discover a renewed motivation to re-engage fully in the game.